everybody and welcome to Melanie. So Melanie is going to be sharing with us today on what her biggest challenge was, what does she have to overcome in order to be the person she is today and to do what she's doing today. So share with us, Melanie. Oh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, I think like all of us, we've got a journey that we have traveled and um, different things have come into our paths over time. Um, for me, I was in the, um, the finance sector initially when I met my husband and then had a vision of where I wanted to be and then ended up marrying a farmer, which totally took me off course. Um, I wasn't really expecting that. And yeah, I moved to the farm and basically had to try and find something to keep myself busy and redefine myself. I had, I was independent. I had my own flat, my own car. And suddenly now um, I was living at the end of the road, end of the sticks, not knowing anybody and how to basically reinvent myself. So the journey really just, um, when I look back at the challenges along the way was um, trying to find out who I am and what I needed to do and some self-reflection. I realized that I had to be busy. It wasn't enough just to stay home and look after the children. Um, while that was a great privilege, um, I really needed to do something more that was um, fulfilling, not only for myself, but financially. I needed to have something that was, was my own. So various things came my way. I started with a small poultry business um, and that was great until I, um, my husband said to me I needed to start paying for the chicken food and I realized it wasn't so profitable afterwards. <laughs> so I um, gave that a skip and then the children were a bit bigger and got involved with school marketing and absolutely loved that. I realized my, my passion was really about um, making connections with people. Um, I also, I think when I look back now, um, making connections was what I was good at. So I, I could fill the, a particular problem with a, um, somebody who had the need to, or the skills to actually put it together. So I learned about myself and to not second guess myself. And that the, the, the challenge was to really just to embrace it. it. Was probably the biggest thing was just embrace what I could actually do well, concentrate on that and build on it. So yeah, basically over time, one thing led to the next, um, children got bigger, decided to open a, a health shop. I did that for a while, it was an opportunity with a bunch of ladies. We, we, had, um, we, we used to hold markets and supporting local was very important to me and giving back to the community. Um, and that was a great start to the love, the love to actually serve. Um, and the more I did that, the more things came my way. And then basically, um, daughter went off to um, university and we decided to sell one of our other properties invested in um, Belito. And while I was down in Cape Town visiting her, I stayed in one of the Airbnbs. And I looked at this and I thought, you know what, I could do this. I, I enjoyed the idea of this. Um, so I started, I, I converted our, uh, this is a small apartment we have in Belito. I decided to start with Airbnb and started um, investigating the short-term rental market, um, did some courses, and there were lots of challenges, didn't understand how it all worked, didn't understand the, the jargon that people were using, um, was really just self-taught. And then I started reaching out, I managed to find a mentor who sort of gave me some advice there, and that was huge, that made such a difference, just speaking to somebody who understood the language and understood what was going on. And it's grown from there. I was managed to add more properties to our portfolio. And what I've really, really enjoyed, probably you and I reflect on things, is the workshops I've held for other hosts. So while I enjoy what I do, and I love having my guests, and I love um, solving the problem of what, what their needs might be, if they're coming for an anniversary, or um, they're coming to, I mean, the one guy I wanted to propose, so you wanted some behind the scenes things, um, so I love that part of it, but I also love the workshop side of it and giving back to, to the host who struggled like I did right at the beginning. And things have moved so much during lockdown. Um, you've either stayed put or you've pivoted is my favorite one I've heard along the way. Um, one door closed, try another door, that one closed, keep going. Um, so if anything I've learned is just to, to really learn as much as you possibly can, stretch. I have never learned so much in this time as far as um, 
I actually looked, looked at one of your videos, you talked about um, analytics and um, I learned about that and SEOs and search words and um, Google My Business. I mean, all of that was foreign. Um, so when I started um, yeah, during lockdown, I looked at that and I, I really tried to um, upskill myself so I was more prepared. Um, but also just to really give back to, to my other owners. We have a, a referral group that we refer people to, to if we can't accommodate them. And that's been great because we're not losing those guests who would normally just, if you say, no, sorry, I can't accommodate you, um, they just go and find some, somewhere else. These we're keeping them local, they're keeping them in the area. Um, I've got about 35 apartments at my fingertips that we can offer to them. Um, so it's, it's just been great to acknowledge where your shortcomings are, with my shortcomings at least, and trying to upskill where I'm not good at. I mean, for example, writing blogs is not my favorite, so I've had to play my daughter, um, who is a graphic designer, to write my, my blogs for me and give me some insight there. So where, I'm, where, my, where my strengths are, I try to concentrate on that, and then where my weaknesses are, and I try to upskill and learn how to do better. So if you were going to say that there was, um, like, if there was a specific skill or strength that kind of held you back, that you needed to face or overcome to be where you are now, what would that be? I think perception that I didn't know enough. Um, I eventually came to a point where I accepted that I did know what I was talking about. Um, I, I didn't have to be the professor in the class. Um, I could be the teacher in the class, but I had enough information, enough skill that I could share that. I was scared to give advice in case it wasn't 100% um, out of the textbook. Um, first hand experience does count. Um, being on the ground, dealing with people, um, understanding what their needs, um, the, uh, there's, a, there's a pattern of mistakes that, that you can recognize. And I was just trying to be better, better, better all the time. And then I, I really looked at it and I thought, you know, what, I, what, what you're doing is, is, is valuable. You can make a difference and you have got the skills to do it. Trust yourself. And I think when I got to a point where I actually thought, okay, I can do this. I can make a difference in somebody else's life. They don't have to make the same mistake I made. And if they're willing to listen, they're willing to learn, um, if they're willing to brainstorm, something will good come out of that. You know, it's not going to be lost. Um, so once I really just accepted that I, I, I did know what I was talking about and my, my opinion did matter and it had made a difference, that was a huge sort of revelation that my, my point of view was valued. And I think that was my biggest hurdle to overcome. Also, there's, for you, there's such a strong sense of community, which also just shows that you really want, and I get that, that's exactly why I'm creating this group. I'm creating this group because I believe everybody's got a story to tell. I don't believe in selling. I don't believe in self-promotion. I don't believe in that. But I believe in a sense of community. When we work together, we know each other's stories and we see how we can support each other. That's how we grow. And when we grow within ourselves, everything else grows. And that definitely is something that you're clearly very involved with, is supporting other people in community. Yes, and also the, the, the biggest thing for, for me, for, for my group, was when I was talking about um, you know, doing referrals, I had quite a bit of resistance from some of the hosts to say, well, you know, if they share their guests, they're not going to come back to them next time. And I, I just said, no, that's not what it's about. You don't, there's a, there's a, if you have an abundance mindset, if you give it out, that much more comes back to you. So as soon as I, I sort of had to get past that challenge with, within my own group, and I really, Bridget, it's come back in leaps and bounds. What, what I've given out and helped a handful of people, this group that I've got, um, what are we, about 25 people. Um, if we, the amount that I've got back from them has been so much more than I've actually given even. Um, and I really have got over the, this worry that I'm not going to have enough that I can't share my little thing, what I've got here, in case I don't have enough. The yeah. opposite actually is true. There's more and, than Yeah, that's been a big thing. There's no. more than enough for everybody. Seriously. No. You don't need to hang on to every little bits and pieces for yourself. Um, 
you can definitely share it and it really it multiplies us by sharing and just also um being kind i think i think we've all gone through this lockdown period um you know some have emotionally it's affected others harder than other um some and i just find that people really just need to be kind and, be, and to be treated kindly mm. um that has been huge and it just it just opens a door for communication if you can't to somebody just give them a break you don't know what day they had you don't know what their finances you don't know their pet family circumstances they might well have somebody that's passed away from covid you just you just don't know um so i really just try and take each day as it come with a with a message of just being kind to the next person um share with what i have knowledge wise and you know if i can share otherwise i do but really just been about sharing my my love for the industry that i'm in